Good morning, everybody. We are kind of picking up where we left off outside. Um, it's a little after nine. Bubby and I slept in today. He just ate his breakfast. He's gallivanting outside, exploring. And I am just kind of figuring out what we're going to do today. I'm not sure. I've been like walking around my house for like a fun DIY. And oddly enough, there's <laughs> nothing that I really want to change. As you guys know, we did so many DIYs over the past year. Um, I'm just really content where everything is right now, so I'm not ready to change anything. I do have to take care of some gardening. You're gonna see a very hot mess to my left, but Oh, that all needs cut out and cleaned out. What you doing? Hey, he can't be bothered. So, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I was thinking of going and maybe hitting up a different thrift store, but we'll see. There's a Bubba's in his wild habitat. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Let me go track down this animal. What are you doing sassy high kicks for? What you doing? Get up here. Do you need cookie? Oh, he's gonna do his business. <laughs> Bubba's is like a really weird dog. He will only go like along this trail of where we stop mowing. Um, but he's such a weird little beast. Steven grew like 15 foot like mammoth sunflowers here, but now has cut them all down. The outside is still looking so nice. It's actually looking nicer now that these mums are coming out. They're such a beautiful color. I'm so glad I went with it. But they're doing so well. They're so full. But that pop of color really has made this space feel even better. You ready to go? Let's get a cookie. Can we talk about this piece of toast? How delicious does that look? All right, I'm just going to make some avocado toast for breakfast today. I smashed up an avocado that I had in the fridge. And then I'm trying this is everything that I picked up yesterday. So simple breakfast, but just a look at the glory of a homemade piece of toast. Ugh. For those who didn't watch yesterday's video, I baked this bread in a new bread maker that I got. So, because you're probably like, homemade toast? What? No, the bread is homemade. All right, I'm gonna get this assembled and then enjoy my breakfast. And yes, you can have a piece of toast. You know a piece of toast? Ooh, a stink pot. Ooh, a stink pot. I know it is simple, but doesn't that look so good? I cannot wait. All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we'll, Game plan the day. Bubba's and I, well, it doesn't appear to look this way, but we just had a dance party. <laughs> he did get a little excited, but now he's in for the day and super sleepy. I don't think he slept well last night, but I don't know if he slept well. I think he really misses daddy. Do you miss daddy? Do you miss daddy? We were dancing to Adele. Ooh, rolling in the deep. Yes, yes we were. I think he's very sleepy. Hey. This is evidence that I make my bed in the morning. Steven gets on me about making our bed, but it's made. I just love how this pillow accents these two tables. What you thinking, Lincoln? Oh, I know, my phone's in your way. I love this you. Go ahead, hop down. You coming? What? Oh, this dog. All right, I am dressed for the day. 
and ready to get started, but I kind of left the mess everywhere, so I'm gonna clean that up. What is your issue? What is it? Is it a mailman? No, <laughs> you can hear him little growls. What is it? Who's there? Who is it? You're crazy. You're crazy. There's no one there. I have to do some picking up before I leave. I kind of just like left everything. <laughs> you guys are probably looking at this and be like, oh yes, it's such a mess. But I just like left out all of my breakfast things. The other thing I want to do when we get home today is my... And that is proof of it. Things are falling out. I want to reorganize this cabinet. This is my baking cabinet, but I've gotten a little slot. Like, look, look at that. See, don't think I'm neat. I, this cabinet is a mess, so I need to clean that up. But I thought we'd go and see if we can find anything good at another thrift store. So I'm going to check out some local ones that might be open today. See, I left my plate over here. I might take him for W-A-L-K before I go. All right, let's get, I think he knows. All right, friends, we are back from our walk and I looked at some thrift stores while we were walking. Most of them are closed today, so I'm not gonna be able to hit them up. But I'm gonna go out, run a couple errands and yeah, then we'll come back together and do our thing. I'm not gonna wear a hat, but my hair does not look good today. <laughs> but I don't care. Bubby, do you care? No, you're good. <laughs> I love you. It's a good day. All right, I'm gonna hit the lights. Bubby is going to watch some Dateline while I'm gone. You rest, you old man. You had two treats, you've had a walk, you've gallivanted outside in the yard. It's time to rest. If you are not already, I have a Vlogtober playlist. I'll make sure to leave it linked down below. I actually forgot it. Is anyone else having an issue with just like a sea of disposable masks like everywhere you look? Like they're all over my car. These are really pretty. A friend let me borrow them. She sent me the link. I need to order these. I really like them. Um, I just have like a sea of masks everywhere. But such is life. All right, we are going to go run some errands, do all the things. Also, I can't vlog in my car, which I need to figure out by Vlogmas because I like doing it. I like doing a little like caroling in the car together, but like I cannot figure out my camera set up in here. I've tried like the overhead mount. I don't love it. Um, that's where I kind of miss my Volvo XC60 because it was so easy to mount a camera. This is just not. Ugh. All right, first world problems. We are back from my errands. I just got my groceries put away. I am gonna try this, I'm sorry. I'm snacking on sugar snap peas. I'm going to try this bread maker one more time. Now I'm going to dump a package of the seeded whole grain bread in here. Making sure it's on three and it's starting the first knead or mix. And it's going to take four hours. We're going to see if this one goes better now that I've gotten better at managing this machine. The bread is doing the second knead. I'm hoping it goes a little bit better than the last one. I am just really chilling and relaxing. I wanted something to just pick at. So I'm gonna set out this little veggie tray. I even made it look beautiful even though it's just me because you know what, I deserve it. I'm just gonna nosh on this as the day goes. And then, yeah, and I did make it a little unhealthy. I do have a dip, but 
I know someone will ask, these little Crocs are from Hearth and Hand Magnolia line at Target. Never thought I'd use them. I use them all the time. I've baked chicken pot pies in them. I've baked lasagnas in them. I use them for dips. They're so handy and they're cute and adorable. I throw them in the fridge, throw them in the oven. They're amazing. I did pick up these cute little things at Target. We're hosting Thanksgiving this year, so I thought for the dessert table, this was cute. And then if anyone wanted to take coffee on their way out, I thought these were adorable. So I picked those up. I need to put them away. And then I did the Goodfellow sweatshirts. I picked those up because I love this color. And then I bought a, this little sweater and I also picked up this um, chambray button down just because, oh, I hit the light. Just because you can never have too many chambray button downs. We were just joking about that at work. So grab these and also look at him. Look at him lounging. Oh, he's a good boy. You just had some carrots, didn't you? I am watching Wild Crimes, I think it is. It's on Hulu. It is so interesting. Not a very uplifting docuseries, but if you love true crime, you will love this. It's really well done. Wild Crimes. All right, I'm going to nosh on some vegetables and relax. Just finished working out and then letting Bubby out for a little bit. Um, it was a good workout. I am not, I'm not wearing my watch today just because I wanted to really like chill and relax and just kind of listen to myself. And I sometimes think that watch controls a lot. So I like sometimes not wearing it even when I'm working out and walking and being really active. It just takes a little bit of that pressure off of like, oh, did I close that? How much did I burn this? Instead, I just enjoyed the workouts and had fun. And isn't that part of the purpose? So I like to do that, especially like on a weekend where I'm just trying to relax a little bit. So I worked out for about 45 minutes. He slept and chilled out. And now he's ready for a cookie. You ready for a cookie? I knew it. The bread is about done. I'm excited to see how this one turned out. It looks like it has risen a lot more than the last one. I also, also, I just talked to Steven and he is doing well. And yeah, it's been a light, it's been a really nice Sunday. I've done some damage to my vegetable tray. I've been picking at it all day. That was kind of my lunch. Um, I had the avocado toast for breakfast, so I just didn't really need much for lunch, so I've just been picking at that. I might end up just tossing all of those into a salad tonight for dinner. But this definitely has five more minutes, but it looks like it's risen a lot more than the other. We will see when it is all said and done. Bubba's, was that cookie good? A lot of you are asking where I get his collars from. They are from a company called Foggy Dog. I will leave them linked below, but this is his fall collar. And then let me see, I can't remember. Oh, no, I didn't. I ordered him a fall collar, but I didn't order him a Christmas collar. But the same collar, let me see, I think I have it in here. I ordered him this one from Summer from them. It's like a gold, and it's called Foggy Dog. I also wanna give him like a green velvet one for Christmas. <gasps> Do you like fancy collars? Do you like fancy colors? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So I did the other loaf of bread. It also didn't raise as much and it kind of fell in here. I don't know if it's these mixes. These mixes aren't necessarily made for a bread machine because they are like the actual directions. I just bought them because I thought they'd be easy. So I think what I have to do is I need to try it with like one of my bread recipes or look up a bread machine recipe. I mean, it's baked and it'll be beautiful. The crust is beautiful, it's evenly baked. I still think it's a great machine. You can prep your pizza dough in it. I'm pumped about it. I just don't think the mixes I bought are the right things for the bread machine. I'll still eat it. Yes, you will still eat it. I know you will still eat it because you love bread. I am going to use those veggies and I'm going to make myself a salad. And guess what we didn't do today? And I'm not doing it. This cabinet is still a disaster. I'm embarrassed to show it, but that's what it is. And sometimes in life, there are things on our to-do list that as we go throughout the day, we realize aren't as important as we thought they were. 
So I'm not gonna sweat this cabinet. It'll be there tomorrow. And if I feel like it, I'll fix it tomorrow. The world will keep spinning whether I get something done or not. I think what's interesting is someone in the comments wrote about balance and how they've learned to care less and they're like, wait, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. I don't think it's that you care less in the, in the way that we often think about caring less. I just think it means that you're not willing to sacrifice other things or put other things on the back burner that you care more about. I don't think it's necessarily about caring less. I think it's about a reprioritization of what is truly and really important. I like this idea of caring less about the things that aren't as crucial and caring more about the priorities that are most important. And sometimes those priorities are work related, but for the most part, they're about life. So it is around 5.40. I'm going to make a big salad. I am going to cut up those vegetables and use those. I'm gonna snuggle with Bubba's. I'm going to read. I'm probably gonna watch some true crime documentary as well. And I'm going to enjoy my night. And I wish all the same for you. So I'll end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.